Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to protect your routes. So let's say you want to protect the dashboard route because users should not have access to it if they are not logged in, right? So if I go into slash dashboard, okay, you can see I am able to access this page even though I am not logged in. So how do I protect this route if I'm not logged in? So before you do this, I just want to clarify something that in your source folder, not in the app folder, in the source folder, add a file called, create a file called middleware.js, go in, add all of this. To find this, just go into the cleric documentation and add, uh, and in the search bar, add this cleric middleware and you'll be able to find all of this just copy paste that in okay so after you've done this to protect your dashboard route right just create a layout.js file inside of it and then go into layouts and then here just add the component the protect component component okay just import that in save this and that's it so for now let's say I try to go to the dashboard page right so if I try to go to the dashboard page you can see I am seeing nothing there I will not be able to see anything in my dashboard page if I am not logged in so this is how the protect component works. It doesn't load anything if you are not logged in. So this is the way of protecting your components using the protect component. Now I know this isn't a good way. It's just a safety measure to prevent the loading of anything in case someone tries to access this route for example or any route that you want to protect okay so right now this is protecting a route but obviously we are just stopping the children of this component from rendering and that is not what we want to do right we would want to redirect them back right so to do that what you can do is remember that middleware file that was created well i'm going to show you how we can use that to tell cleric that okay if our route matches the one we've given you then do not load that route redirect the user back to this place so that this route is protected. So what we're gonna do here in the middleware is to tell Cleric that, okay, protect these routes and redirect the user back to the main page if they are not logged in. So in this, actually, let me just create a const and say is protected route okay let's just it route and do create route matcher okay this is the one we have to import this in i'm going to set this up later but right now i'm going to tell you that this takes in an array okay so here we're going to tell it that okay check if the user is logged in or not so this is going to take a function i'm going to use an arrow function and this has two parameters auth and request okay so i'm gonna say if auth auth dot user 
ID and protected route does not match and we're gonna check if the route matches or not using the request so what we're checking is if the authenticated user is not no and if the route matches the one in our request then what we want to do is return a redirect and what we're going to use here is next response dot redirect and we're going to add a new URL and this takes in two things one is the URL we want to add which is the main URL in this case or you could also add the login one if you want this is up to you but I'm gonna use this one and actually I'm gonna use the login one just to show you and here what you add is the request dot URL so this gets the base URL which is localhost 3000 for us or you could just manually put it in if you want I would just use this or if you want to be super secure just add this in your environment variables and then just add that in using process.env.next and then the name of the e environment variable okay so this is all you have to do so what this is and here what we're going to add is slash dashboard and here what we're going to add is dot asterisk so just to go over all of this again the cleric middleware is going to load it's going to check if our auth user ID is empty or not. If our user is not logged in and the route matches the route we have specified, we want to redirect the user back. That's what we're trying to do with this. So I'm going to save this and if right now since i'm already in the dashboard you'll see that it will redirect me back actually let me just reload this yeah as you can see it's redirecting me to the login page okay let me just show you this again dashboard okay as you can see it's redirecting me back to the login if I try to log in, as you can see, I'm allowed to go to the dashboard page if I'm logged in. Okay. So this is very important to remember. Okay. So I'm just going to sign out. As you can see my application is working here okay so next we're gonna be moving on to creating custom components when it comes to cleric okay using the cleric elements okay so I don't know if any of you remember this but previously I made a login and sign up animated form okay so I'm going to show you using that how we can integrate something as custom as an animated form that we have created and use that as a type of cleric component with all of the animations and everything, but it will work with our Next.js application. Okay, so this is it for this tutorial. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.